disassembly is very simple. There's a pin on this side, there's a little catch, and you want to press on that catch, and this pulls out. These are not captured takedown pins, which I, I do wish they were. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not a fan on non-captured pins like that. In a field, that's just, it's going to get lost. Not a fan of that. And just pull it out. From there, there's a, this back piece is, re, is removed by pressing on that button and pushing down. And keep your hand here so no, no internals go flying out. They shouldn't, but just to be safe. Now, when the SBR kit comes out, that's how easy it's going to be to swap it out. And this here just pulls out it's the spring. Bolts. And here's the bolt itself. To disassemble the gas system, there's a little bolt to a little pin to press, press the pin down and rotate this so that, oops, press the pin one more time, rotate it so that that flat area is lined up with the flat area here and then pull it out and there's the piston. There's a pin right here you would have to get a punch and take it out. I wouldn't do it. And then you'd have to replace it. Now to reassemble it, stick this in here. Line up so that flat edge is down. Now it's to take the barrel out, all you need to do is take Let's take down nuts on both sides, or bolts, excuse me, take down bolts on both sides, and I think you'd have to take this off, and it would come out, which leaves open the possibility of different calibers, different barrels for different calibers, and in fact, right up top here, this gas system is numbered um, for caliber, and barrel right here is numbered for caliber, which leads me to believe that in the future you will see other calibers coming out of CZ. Now how long that takes, who knows, I mean it could be years, but uh, 6.8 SPC would be nice, some 7.62 by 39, maybe 308, who knows. Um, but it is a possibility. This is definitely a modular barrel. You could put a longer barrel in there if you're looking for more of a marksman uh, type rifle. I've had it for over a month, not quite two months I don't believe, although time does kind of fly so it could be, but I've fired uh, almost a thousand rounds through it yet and have not cleaned it, so it's uh, pretty dirty. Um, however, since it's piston, most of the gunk is up here. I haven't, my hands are actually not too dirty. I actually, uh, off camera here, realized how dirty this was and actually had a little bit of difficulty getting the gas system out so I had to shut off the video and do a little bit of cleaning and now it's good to go. Now the bolt always, it always kind of messes me up here but it's, it's going to go in opposite of what you think it would. It always goes in like upside down because the bolt is, the chamber is here, not here. Normally a lot of rifles you'd think the chamber would be on this end but it's not. It's, the gas system is above the chamber so and then the bolt needs to be forward to get past that mount right there so put that in there slide that in there once you get the recoil spring in here you want to put the bolt handle in and I'm gonna put it on the left side once again it only goes in one way And that is it for the upper receiver. The lower receiver, uh, slide it in butt first. 
takedown pins are interchangeable, doesn't matter which one is forward. They do go left to right. And that is it.